Oh my goodness. I know I get excited about a lot of different RVs, but please hear me out. You need to see the inside of this new 2024 travel trailer. Let's go take a look. What's up y'all, welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound, and we are taking a look at this 2024 Keystone Outback. This is in their Ultralight series. So for 2024, Keystone Outback has now branded, well, they've always had the Ultralight series, um, but they made it easier to identify between the two, especially if you're in an RV lot just looking at stuff, because they have the Outback Premium that you can see here now has the premium badge on it, and then you have the Outback Ultralight. Um, biggest difference between this is these are just more weight focused so that they can be a little bit more lightweight. And this thing here is unloaded at 7,700 pounds. So this makes it very, very close for some half ton trucks, but just out of sheer, <laughs> out of sheer safety for you and just giving good, honest information, I would recommend a three quarter ton truck for something this size. Uh, my 2023 Toyota Tundra, I think this here would be pushing the limits of what I would want to tow with that truck. Now, some things are dependent on different circumstances, like where you're towing, how long you're gonna be towing, things like that. But I just took a trip to Colorado recently, went up into the mountains, and I know for a fact with a half ton truck, this thing would probably be going maybe 30 to 40 miles on the highway in the mountains if you're towing it with a half ton. So that's my two cents on that. Um, however, this thing is wildly, wildly impressive. There are so many cool things on the inside. I'm going to get to it as quick as I can here. Now this video is going to be a little bit different um, because we are at an RV show. I'm trying to film as much stuff as I possibly can for you. So we're going to go relatively quick, but I'm going to give you all the information you need. Three quarter cut fiberglass front cap here looks really nice. Have the amber colored LED lights underneath here as well. Kind of framed into a molded section there. Two 30 pound propane bottles, so more propane supply. And then for 2023 models, all Keystone RVs came equipped with two lithium batteries. Now I don't see lithium batteries on here. I don't know if they took them off for the show or what the deal is with that, if that's still gonna be standard or not, but I'm not seeing them on here. So I can't confirm or deny that. I do wanna talk about price real quick as well, cause that's something that people are gonna be interested in. No pricing is displayed here yet. So if I get pricing information, I hope I'll be able to put it on the screen or down below in the description if I just forget to put it on the screen here. So check the description as well. And hopefully I was able to find pricing information for you. Really big pass-through storage compartment. This is going to be an aluminum uh, framed travel trailer. So you can see the aluminum framing here. Keystone does weld on both sides of all frame connections. And then you do have a puck light there as well with your controls for your electric stabilizers. Down underneath here, you're gonna have a fully enclosed underbelly. All your water tanks and water lines will sit above that enclosed underbelly, electric stabilizers as well. And then Outback got a new decal package on the outside as well. So kind of a cool, you know, two-tone Outback logo here that I really like the look of. I think that looks really sharp. And then along the back, you can see big windows here already. So this window setup looking really, really nice. You have a ladder to get up onto the roof, prep for a backup camera. There is solar on the roof as well. And then your plug for 50 amp is gonna be right here off the back, kind of hidden back there behind the bumper. You do get an outdoor refrigerator. So you have a little outdoor refrigerator there, or you can take that refrigerator out and use that for storage. And this is all gonna be underneath your awning. You can see your awning extends from here all the way back to here. You have two outdoor speakers. I just want to tackle everything on the outside real quick. So let me get back to the other side since I can actually squeeze through this spot here. Hopefully. Yep, we're good. Okay. Come around this way. Tankless on-demand water heater. Pass-through storage compartment access here. And then it does have all your solar controls here. So you're going to have things like your 30 amp solar charge controller. It's going to have your solar disconnect switch there. And then it looks like it does have a tire pressure monitoring system on it as well. Or it's, it may just be prepped. For a tire pressure monitoring system there open this up you have your nautilus water management system down through here so really confined and concise and then you have another solar plug here as well but there is already solar on the roof and then you have a cable driven slide mechanism here in your slide outs um can see exact specs here unloaded 7,700 pounds fully loaded 9,500 pounds and then you're going to have a cargo carrying capacity of 1,740 pounds now, the reason I say this may not be half ton towable, it depends on your truck. The tongue weight on this when it's fully loaded is usually 10% of the 
overall travel trailer weight. So if it's 9,500 9, pounds, let's say fully loaded, you fully load this thing up, it's probably gonna have about a 950 to 1,000 pound tongue weight. Now the cargo capacity on my Tundra is about 1,200 pounds, which is relatively low. And that only gives me a couple hundred extra pounds for people in the vehicle, things to put in the bed of the truck. So it's just pushing it really, really close. But again, your half ton may be, you know, specced out in every way to handle a travel trailer like this. You just gotta do your due diligence on your truck and know what you have. This is the 296 URK, brand new for 2024, 220 watts of solar on the roof. You have a solid entry step here, goes low to the ground, and then it does have, let's look at this real quick, it does have Trailer King tires here and a leaf spring suspension. As we walk inside, really big step there, and then I like how, just kind of different, the door is black, and look at this. Oh yeah, they gave you the privacy shade, and it comes from the right direction, so if you're inside your travel trailer, you can have this kind of halfway closed. That way you can still see out into the world or if someone knocks on your door, you can see who it is, but they can't see you know, below your shoulder line or wherever you have this set to. So love that there, love that that's now coming standard and you don't have to just add that in. This is gonna blow your mind, y'all. This is really gonna blow your mind, I'm so excited. Look at this thing, y'all, look at this. This is one of the most impressive travel trailers I've ever seen. Now the lights are gonna be a little finicky because we're just going off of solar here and I just turned it on, so I don't even know how dependable it will be just strictly going off the solar. But look at this floor plan. I don't know that I can recall another rear kitchen setup that has an island and a desk space. Like this is incredible. Whether you wanna use this as a desk, it does have a swivel chair right here. You can take this out if you just wanted to remove this. This can easily be removed. It's just removing some screws but that is a spot where you can sit out, see into your campsite, and then this rear kitchen. Oh my gosh. This is just so stinking awesome. You have huge windows all the way around, and that is going to let in so much natural light, but just imagine what your view is going to be while you're out at your campsite. I mean, just imagine. Just imagine with me for a second, y'all. Your bedroom is back here and you walk out and you're at your scenic location, you have all these windows this way, and then all of these windows out to your campsite here. I mean, that is just going to set up beautiful scenic views for you inside your travel trailer. And as you go through this kitchen, look at all the countertop space that you get. It is really incredible and I'm really impressed. Stainless steel sink here, black um, faucet there as well. Of course it will pull out there. And then you do have a retractable outlet here, wireless charging pad on top of this. So when you push it down, you'll have a wireless charging pad, it looks like, or I think that's the case. That would have to be what that logo means. I haven't tested that, but I imagine that's what it is. USB type C port on there as well. And then this is gonna be, because it's the more lightweight model, it's gonna be like a pressed countertop material. It's not a solid surface countertop, so keeping it more lightweight. You have a Furion microwave here. Storage space down underneath here, and then four drawers that pull out. Those look like they are all the same size there. Really, really impressive amount of storage, but you always get that when you get a rear kitchen. So good storage space are there. Three more pull out drawers here. Those are nice and deep drawers. This one looks like it's a little more shallow. You have storage space down underneath here, and then you're gonna have your Furion oven here, standard size Furion oven with a three burner cooktop here as well. Because this is in the kitchen space, you are gonna have these black kind of metal blinds there for fire safety reasons. And then turn to your right and you still have your island here as well. But this is like, you're in a pocket of space here. So this island doesn't really feel in the way at all. Like you can so easily maneuver your way around it. And I love the way that it feels in the design and layout of this thing. 12 volt Furion refrigerator. It's a nice refrigerator space through here. It's gonna be your standard Furion refrigerator that you see in most travel trailer RVs for 2024. And then you have a big pantry space as well with this is gonna be the spot for your trash can there. But the storage keeps going because of course you have your island as well that they had to utilize storage in here. So you're gonna have storage space down through here and this actually is unobstructed all the way through. So you're gonna have all that additional storage space in your island as well. Just think of all the stuff you'll be able to fit with all this storage. I mean, you could fit some big pots and pans in that island there if you need to. Outlet here, and then let's see, outlets in the kitchen space, you have that outlet back in the corner there. And then it looks like those are 
your main primary outlets for these areas. To your left, you're gonna have a legless dinette table. Really, really interesting looking furniture colors here. I really like the design of this. Y'all let me know what you think, but this is like a, you know, kind of that pleather material there. It has a nice kind of diamond quilt look there. And then underneath here, you have a legless dinette table. You have a um, flush flooring here. So matching flooring materials into the slide out. And then underneath here, of course, you have your wrap sub flooring underneath there with Keystone RVs. Um, I actually started showing the underneath of these slide out floors because Keystone is one of the only brands that wraps their sub flooring on every model that I can think of. And a lot of other brands just don't. So that's something I started showing because Keystone does that and takes that extra step. Um, because it's the legless dinette table, you don't have to worry about hitting your legs on things going in and out, but this will go up and down so you can collapse that table to make this whole area into a bed. And then you should have storage space. Yep, down underneath here as well. So this is actually a wood backed bench here. So there's wood underneath this bench and then you have your storage space down underneath there. Now directly across from here, you have your desk space. You're gonna have more storage over here as well. Let me just show you the storage real quick. Up in there, nice storage space, and then four drawers that pull out here. You have another outlet spot there with USB ports, USB type C and outlets. And then to your recliners, your recliners here, these are gonna be kind of off center to your TV, but it's not bad. It's, I mean, it's really, really close. And then these also can just be moved around so that, or the TV can be moved out. So it's more of a kind of straight on look to the TV. And then with your recliners here, these definitely are going to lay back all the way. So going to be able to lay flat in those as well. And those are very comfortable, good, comfortable recliner and just has such a unique look. Um, pull down black pleated shades on these windows and then you do have the balances that go down the window to kind of block out excess light from coming in. Look at your slide out faces here. These have a lot of um, like, kind of like bulk to them. So it feels very quality in your slide out faces. This has a barreled ceiling. So good ceiling height in here as well, about seven feet at its tallest point. Dual ducted AC system. And then you still have these blade AC vents here that are going to help cool down your RV faster with more evenly dispersed airflow. This is a Coleman Mach AC system here. So this is gonna be very quiet for you. And it does have the option to just dump out air through the sides here if you don't wanna send air through the ducting system. So that is an option as well. Surround sound system. So you have your speakers in the ceiling here. And then right when you walk in, I kind of overlooked this. You have a closet here as well, a coat closet and shelving space through here as well. So quick, easy access to these things from outside. You don't have to walk all the way through your RV to get to whatever you store in these areas. You're gonna have your thermostat controls right here. And that's a new control panel with Coleman Mach. And then this is a Vizio TV. This looks to be about like maybe a 39, 40 inch screen TV or so, something like that. Storage space, little spots on both sides here. You have your fireplace, of course. This will be an electric heat source for you. And then as we go back this way, prepped to add a Wi Fi router. Back in the bathroom, it is a pass through bathroom, so you'll have access to this bathroom from the bedroom as well. Porcelain foot flush toilet in the corner here. Enough room for your shoulders on both sides there. You're going to have a corner shower in this space. And as I step into here, space in here feels really comfortable. And when I step into the shower, oh yeah, plenty of ceiling height. Um, so height is about 6'2 to right here. So it kind of slants up this way. And so, but if I step into this big skylight here, you have height for probably like 6'4, six, 6'5. Six, um, so I would say you'll comfortably fit in this shower if you are under 6'3. If you're over 6'3, it might start feeling a little congested, but... It's a good size shower if you're under 6'3", for sure. Nice big sink here. This is a plastic sink, lots of sink space there. Medicine cabinet storage, and then storage underneath the sink. They gave you a shelf there as well. Um, we're gonna go back out into the hallway and then enter into the bedroom from outside. Just look at that, y'all. That's so impressive. Let me know what you think of the interior colors as well. Outback actually had black cabinets, black slide out fascias and things like that for 2024 or for 2023. Sorry. So they definitely went with a very drastic change to their interior color scheme. And I'm curious what you think about the interior color. As we go back this way, you're going to have a north to south facing queen size bed. Nice big storage area in here. Second AC in here as well. Spot to hook up a TV on the wall. So if you wanted to hook up a TV, that could go in this space right here. And then 
storage underneath the bed, of course. Strut assisted storage at that and everything just looks really well constructed with how this is done. Um, sometimes you just see, you know, there's kind of where you start to see the mess sometimes on some models when you open that up. And then nice long area for storage here, just to place items here on the side. It does, um, you know, make it so you have to kind of climb into the bed from this side and then on this side over here, you're gonna have a little bit more floor space. And then right here you have your spot where you can hang your clothes and then big storage space back through here. Like the look of this kind of, you know, it's not really headboard, but just the design they did on this wall here. You have your light there and then you have outlets on both sides and it looks like USB port with USB type C on this side here as well. And then that is everything on this new 2024 Keystone Outback. I don't have pricing information right now. Again, if I'm able to find it, I will put it down in the description below. But definitely want to know your thoughts, want to know what you think about this travel trailer here. So let me know down below in the comments. And if you haven't already, make sure to go down into the description of this video and subscribe to the Firmly Unbound YouTube channel. There's going to be some exciting video content coming there as well that I'm really excited to share with y'all. There's nothing posted on that channel yet, but trust me, exciting, fun stuff is coming. So go check that out. And until next time, live firmly unbound.